At Oticon, our goal is simple. We want to create a better future for every child with hearing loss. In order to create that future, we recognize the importance of creating excellent technologies that can be fully individualized to the needs of each and every child. Further, we recognize how important it is for these solutions to be both safe and reliable in order to keep up with the busy lives that children lead. Our technologies must make sense in the broad range of environments that children operate in. And clearly, one key situation is in the classroom. All professionals recognize the important role that FM technology plays in making sure that the teacher's voice comes in at a loud and clear level for the child. In the classroom environment where the child has the environmental microphones of the hearing aid open, there are procedures in place to make sure that the voice level of the teacher when transmitted via FM comes in at a level that it's clearly above the ambient sound coming in through the environmental microphones of the child. However, those procedures assume that the listening levels in the classroom are relatively stable. The reality that we all recognize is that classrooms are not a stable sound environment. Throughout the course of the day, the levels will rise and lower depending on what activities are happening in the environment. In situations where the teacher is talking but there's also a lot of other activity happening in the classroom, you want to make sure that the teacher's voice comes into the child's hearing aid at a level that is clearly above the level of the ambient sounds in the room. The original approach that was recommended was to monitor the sound levels at the teacher's transmitter in order to make adjustments when the levels in the classroom got too loud. We don't believe that that approach makes the best sense for a couple of reasons. First of all, if there's sound going on in the classroom, it's more likely being generated by the students out here in the classroom and not around the teacher's voice. Secondly, there's a natural human tendency that all humans have that when the sound levels go up that they're going to automatically raise their voice. Since the teacher is already being picked up with a microphone very close, that sound level is being picked up typically at a very good signal to noise ratio already. Increasing the level at the teacher's voice doesn't make a lot of sense. We believe the better solution is to monitor the sound levels that are occurring around the child. That's where voice priority I comes in. Voice priority I is a function in the Sensei hearing aid that when an FM signal is being detected by the hearing aid, it will boost the FM signal to a sufficient level to make sure it compensates for any above average levels going on in the classroom. It's important to emphasize that voice priority I is a feature of the Sensei hearing aid and not of the FM system. The reason why that's important is that voice priority I will work with whatever FM system the child happens to use. As long as the Sensei hearing aid knows that an FM signal is active, either via the FM shoe or via the streamer, it'll make the appropriate adjustments. Whenever the teacher is talking and the sound levels around the child are above a moderate level, voice priority I will add additional gain to the FM signal to make sure that the teacher's voice is always coming in at a clear and comfortable level for the child. Importantly, if either you or the parents decide that they want this function disabled, that is easily done in the Genie Fitting software. Clearly, we recognize the need for our solutions to make sense in the most important situations that children find themselves in. Obviously, classrooms are a key environment for children as they grow and develop. We take very seriously our partnership with you, and we work together with you to create a better future for every child with hearing loss. Thank you.